Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessing Scrap Therapy with another project. Friends, I was at a birthday party this weekend and I got a really cute napkin. So let's do some fun projects. So that was the favor. And then this is the napkin and I bring it down to one ply. Then I have a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and I cover it with, this is just a white chalk paint. I do two coats and I do all of it, right? Then once that's dry, I put just on the bottom, I put some Mod Podge and this is matte Mod Podge. After that, I put the cute little napkin down. Look how cute that napkin is. And then I just, you know, obviously I just make sure it's smooth. Once that's dry, then I take a sanding block and really gently I sand off the excess napkin. I'm sure there's an easier way, but this is how I did it. Then I pop some holes in the um, sign with my crocodile, but you could certainly just glue the um, jute on if you wanted. And then I add some jute for a hanger. Super cute. Um, again, you could just, you could certainly glue it on. That would be fine. Then I take this nautical rope. Friends, I am addicted to this nautical rope. I love it. Um, and I just put some glue on the pan right on that ridge and I just glue all the way around. So glue, press that part down. And this project, man, it has gone through several different iterations. Like I thought I was done and then I'm like, nope, I'm not done. So you'll see, um, I did that and then I go all the way around, cut that, cut off the excess and um, glue down the rest of that piece. And then I was like, oh, well, you know what? It looks like it might need, I don't know, a bow or something. So of course I have to go make a bow. So the bow I did, again, it's just crisscross applesauce and these are just scraps of fabric and ribbon that I had. So, and they, I felt like they really worked well. Um, this is drop cloth, there's fabric in here, there's ribbon, you name it. Save all the pieces parts. And then I just tie it in the center with a piece of white jute and I just tied it in a knot and cut off the excess. And then what I do for my messy bows, cause I like everything primitive and kind of, you know, junky looking, um, I just scrunch it up with my hands. But again, you can be as fussy with this or as messy with it. It's all up to you. That's what the fun part about being crafty, right? Is your style, there's something for everybody. And see how I just kind of scrunch it up and then Ta-da! I cut off the excess of that jute and then I just um, glue it on and I actually glue it where the two pieces of rope meet and I thought all right is that it and that oh that's the other thing the, that's the favor the little honey pot thing it was so cute so I just used all of those things glued them on it was super cute um, but then I was like and this is what it looked like oh that's cute right mm, you know I got to distress stuff so I take a dry brush with some chalk black chalk paint and I just distress it um I kind of love it <laughs> and then I did the inside a little bit and then I thought you know what it needs more so I put another layer of the nautical rope all the way around and that's it friends